So, as we said, this is happening tonight. Later this morning, we're going to catch up with Owain, the drumathon legend, as he's now known, and Mike, our sporting legend, yeah. as he's always been known, who's always getting, who's also getting involved in the fun. Before we do that, we thought we'd just focus on one of the projects that have been funded by the money you've donated to children in need so far. Now, the Kemp Hospice in Kidderminster offers specialist counselling for children when a loved one takes their own life. Now, John Maguire has been to meet one family which has, very sadly, needed that help. In March last year, just before lockdown, Mark, a husband and father of two young girls, took his own life. My dad, he was really kind. He was very smiley. So when everything like that sort of happened, I was very shocked about everything because he, he was like my best friend. He used to play loads of games with me. He used to give me Sky, he used to do loads of TikTok videos with me. <laughs> because he died through suicide, it's difficult, obviously, because we were a really happy family. It came so suddenly that um, it, we didn't experience sadness or there was... It, so for you, it was here one, one day and then gone the next day. And I think that's the hardest thing because it was so out of character to who Mark was. Mark's death was sudden and shocking, but Laura and her daughters made a pledge. We were a really happy family, so and we're yeah. still a happy family, and really that's our main goal, because actually we're exactly the same as we always have been. We're just a man down, aren't we? Should we sit on the pink bench? Yeah. Yeah. Children in Need helps fund bereavement counselling services provided by Kemp, the hospice for the Wire Forest area in Worcestershire. And the green means, like, all the memories. All the memories of Dad. Yeah. yeah. Gareth supports the girls and says there's a different approach required for children. So they're not just sat talking to a counsellor. They're, they're able to, you know, be doing something and also go to those really difficult places and, and talk about the, the grief they're holding or the, the emotions they might be feeling, like anger or low mood or anxiety. For Sienna, that one-to-one -one relationship, based primarily on trust and emotional support, is essential. I got really scared of like, leaving my mum. Because yeah. how close, because of what happened with my dad. That's like another thing that Gareth also helped me with, because I'm so scared because of what happened with my dad. I can't like leave my mum when I'm like having a really bad day missing my dad. Like I'll get very, very sad and like I'll remember right he said to do this or he said to do that. Basically because I was getting very angry. He's like, You need to do some boxing and every week he asks me, Have you done your boxing this week? I'm like, No. But like it's like I can like have a laugh but also be very serious at the same time. I just don't have to keep it to myself, like my dad did put on a face. I don't have to put on a face because I have Gareth to help me not put on a face. And what also helps Sienna is recording these video diaries. I don't really know how I feel. I feel a bit numb, if I'm honest. I just feel a bit sad in general. Funding enables special camps for children, and the Amelia blue, is a fan. They all make me laugh because I'm having a really bad day and then they'll just brighten up my day and then I'll just get on with the day. And the second best thing is at the end when you get games. They're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we call each other the three musketeers because we're very like close all together. We are. We are the three musketeers. That's what we call ourselves, isn't it? And I think our bond just, just together has just grown stronger really in some ways, hasn't it? Yeah, very. Yeah. Don't mess with the three musketeers. Don't mess with the three musketeers because <laughs> we are a team, aren't we? And the musketeers' famous motto, apposite not just for the family, but also for the support they receive, all for one and one for all. John Maguire, BBC News, Kidderminster. You know what's lovely, though, is when you... Um, when children can actually talk about it, mm. and they're given they're given that safe space to be able to talk about it and to talk about actually, my dad didn't feel that he could talk. He, he was so smiley on the outside, but he didn't mm. feel he could talk about how he was feeling on the inside, and that's horrible. And no one wants to learn that mm. lesson. But 
that will be taken forward, won't it, with their friends and their communities as well. Talking about it with one another and then having yeah. the guts to talk about it on, on, on TV and yeah. sharing their stories. Look, if you've been affected by any of the issues raised in John's report, you can help find uh, help and information on the BBC's Action Line page. That's uh, the bbc.co.uk forward slash action. And, of course, you can watch...